I see a lot of guys kill so much time on social media and all this stuff, and then they say, oh, I don't got time to date. Yes, you do. You just suck at dating. You suck at getting matches, and you're afraid to put yourself out there. That is the real problem. Like, I went on a date with a chick. She was like, I was on a date with this guy for like 12 hours. It's like, damn, what the hell? And he ain't even close. Find something you can make 50000 in a month. So now you got the rest of the 10 months of the year to date or to have a lifestyle, to do fun things. Bro, just look at your screen time. Honestly, that's number one. Look at your screen time. How much time are you spending on your phone? Honestly, replace social media for texting. I don't even go on social media. My social media is dating apps. Make your move within 45 minutes. What's good, boys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be teaching you how to manage dating with work. How to not let chicks interrupt your, your purpose, your, your work life. For some guys, this may mean financial gain or personal gain. Some guys hit the gym. Some guys have a lot of priorities. They wanna put first, buy a home, invest their portfolio, real estate. Some guys follow me, play professional soccer, all right? So that's very important for you. How do you still have a fulfilling date in life and not let it interrupt your work life? Kate's here from Top Love Dating. Let's get into this video. in downtown Tempe, Arizona. It's beautiful out. If you guys ever come down to Arizona, check it out. It's amazing weather, beautiful women, uh, great drinks, and everyone's chill. No one's bothering anybody. Everyone's in their own world. People are happy. Before you start blaming chicks, it's their fault that you're falling behind with work or you're losing all this money and, and, and they're a distraction and they're a waste of time. Bro, you need to start managing your time better. You guys have to become better at time management. That's literally number one. Because a lot of you guys do not manage your time effectively. Like, it's ridiculous. Bro, just look at your screen time. Honestly, that's number one. Look at your screen time. How much time are you spending on your phone? That stuff accumulates and adds up. So I don't want to hear, oh, you know, dating. I don't have time to date and all this stuff when you have 10 hours a day to be on your phone, all right? You can run dates, two hour dates. You don't need to be, some guys be with chicks all day long. Like I went on a date with a chick, she was like, I was on a date with this guy for like 12 hours. Like, damn, what the hell? And he ain't even close. Yes, if you're running 12 hour dates, yes, you are doing, you're, you're messing everything up. And yeah, they're sucking up a lot of your time and all this stuff. Minimum, max, two hours. I don't even make moves, if if anything, but if y'all do, it, it takes forever for you guys to make a move. Make your move within 45 minutes. Within 45 minutes, I can do it, so I know you can. In my text manual, I got a, I got a, a PDF guide on pulling from a public date. It's included with the text manual. Uh, so if you haven't got the text menu yet, make sure you check it out so you can get that. Next thing, boys, so you gotta learn how to be more efficient with your dates. And another thing, let's talk about your work, right? Here's the thing with work. There's either two things. You either wanna work for personal growth, fulfillment, or you wanna work for financial gain. It's either one of the two. And to be honest, most of you guys want financial gain and you guys are thinking women are gonna take away from your finances. Of course, dates cost. If you run on 15 dates a week, that's gonna cost you, buddy. But what is the ultimate solution? Make more money. How do you make more money? You need to learn how to make more money. Just don't blame chicks. Don't settle for 30, 40, 50,000 a year. Even 100,000 a year is not even enough. Don't settle for that stuff. Aim higher. All the top guys, I'm telling you this right now, all the top guys, run a business every single top guy who actually maximize their dating life and have a fulfilling date life they run some sort of business and yeah you can still have a business and it take up all your time for sure but find an industry that you can leverage your time you can be more productive you can make more money in less time 
It doesn't take you all year to make 50,000. You can make 50,000 in a month. All right, find something you can make 50,000 in a month. So now you got the rest of the 10 months of the year to date or to have a lifestyle, to do fun things. Check out my website. I'm rolling out uh, courses for this stuff. You teach you guys how to make money online and stuff. Like these different ways you can make money online now. And I mean, right now it's just, I, I feel like online money is the best money to make. It's, you make it the fastest. You're not location dependent and you can you can scale tremendously. You can scale tremendously. There's there's the sky is the limit with online money. If you have a, a work schedule where you already maxed out your productivity, you already maxed out your income, and what you're gonna do as far as that, and say you only have a few hours left in your day, bro, cut into your sleep. A lot of you guys oversleep 10 hours, 11 hours, and you get out of uh droggy. And then a lot of you guys kill so much energy, like eating junk food, drinking beers all the time, and, 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 and consuming media that just dumbs you down. And it just it just drains your dopamine in your head. So you you are tired at the end of the day. Uh, I wanna go to sleep now. Uh, I'm like, so Bro, get more energy. Get more energy by eating cleaner. Stop complaining. Julian Blanc, shout out Julian Blanc. He called this vitality, keeping your vitality alive. That is the next step on how to manage dating in your work life, keeping your vitality alive. That means cutting into your sleep. Guys, you don't, I have you sleeping five hours a day, sometimes six max. You do not need a lot of sleep. I'm telling you, you do not need a lot of sleep. The older guys, yeah, you may. I'm not gonna lie. But all you young guys, like 18 to 27, 28, you're in your like energy energy wise, you're in your prime. You got the most energy. So I don't you shouldn't be lazy. You shouldn't be tired all the time. That's just crazy. That means you're eating like crap, you're not working out, and your testosterone is low. It's shot. So you need to figure out your health and get that in order. Uh probably check out this spot here in a little bit uh x <laughs> probably going a little quick date real fast yeah, it's beautiful out though boys um yeah next thing and last thing like i say screen time instead of you watching sports playing video games scrolling through instagram how about you scroll on a date in that how about you go on a date instead of watching the super bowl how about you go on a date all right, so a lot of you guys complain. I, I know this is because it's like it's a it's a comfort it's a comfort thing for you to fail. It's a coping mechanism. There it is, a coping mechanism for you to fail. Since you're failing, you want to blame. You don't have time to date. Since you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna try to blame. Oh, it's because I don't have time to date. No, you don't know what you're doing, and you're trying to cope because you got a lot of time to date, and I can see it. I see a lot of guys kill so much time on social media and all this stuff and then they say, oh, I don't got time to date. Yes, you do. You just suck at dating. You suck at getting matches and you're afraid to put yourself out there. That is the real problem. Boys, get better at texting, get faster at texting, schedule meetups faster, shortcut your dates, be more time efficient, manage your time better. That's all you literally have to do. And then yeah, max out your time. Oh, I'm only gonna date five hours a week. There you go. That's two dates. And that's scrolling on Tinder for or hinge or texting. Honestly, replace social media for texting. I don't even go on social media. My social media is dating apps. Uh, KT Totlow Dating. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Are you aware of emotional damage done to men when women flake on dates? Last week I was in New York City for a day and a half and I had literally 700 girls like my profile. Where the God of my father's ring? The men that want quality dating lives.
I just right. never could get close to the results I want. Need you. Birth rates in the United States tick down. Instant overnight results. I'd be matching with like almost like every other girl I swiped on. You have to learn from someone who has a shit ton of experience. You can meet a lot of chicks, start a romantic story. Your text game is very effective and straightforward. This is all you are going to see. Your approach compared to other dating coaches. All these other dating coaches, bro, they're not changing anything. Compared to the quality of matches I'm getting now. So KT knows what he's doing. Dude, the quality of girls I see out nowadays, you're not going to be getting the same quality of girls that you're getting on these apps. <laughs> who else is doing? I really recommend this program. You are damn near curing the problem. Because I have such high quality options. Really heavy duty intelligence is not going to be distributed all over the place. It'll be in a limited number of server centers, like very sort of deep AI.